You've heard that it's possible to make money online. Maybe you've even tried your hand at a side hustle or two, but you're not really sure how this whole making money online thing works. Well, keep on watching. Hey there, this is Shruti and in today's video, I'm sharing with you top 10 legit ways to make money online. Now, I'm no stranger to making money online. I started with a small side hustle two years back and now that is actually my full time business. So I can tell you from first hand experience that making money online is a pretty realistic and legit way of making a living no matter whether you're a teenager, you're a college student or you're an adult person with a nine to five job. The first way to make money online is to start a blog or a website. This was actually my original side hustle, which I started in 2018 and now pays all of my bills and actually is a full-time legit business. The biggest advantage of starting your own blog or website is that it is 100% your own. No one can take it away from you. Now there are multiple ways to monetize a website, but one of the easiest and fastest ways to monetize a website is by using something like Google AdSense, which essentially runs ads on your website. And each time a visitor actually checks out your website or or maybe even clicks on an ad, you actually stand to gain money from those ad impressions. The most important thing here to keep in mind is to start with the end in mind. So if your goal is to make money from a blog or a website, then you want to first of all identify a profitable niche where you can actually create blog posts or content on and then figure out what are the best ways for you to actually monetize it starting from ads and then exploring a couple of different options that I'm going to share in this video. Another way to make money online is through affiliate marketing. This is where you promote other people's products and services and you stand to gain a small commission each time someone actually buys a product or service through your affiliate link. Now, one of the best sites to actually get started on affiliate marketing is Clickbank, which doesn't really require you to have a website to get started with affiliate marketing. However, other sites such as Rakuten Marketing, CJ Affiliate, Share a Sale, etc. might require you to have a particular niche website to allow you to become an affiliate partner on those channels. The advantage here is that you don't need to invest a single penny to start. While having your own website can certainly help, you can actually get started completely for free by using your social media platforms to promote these affiliate products. However, you do need to have some sort of traffic source to actually drive traffic to these affiliate offers so that you can convert these offers into commissions. Now, one of the best ways to do this is by owning your own website. And if you do go the route of having your own website plus affiliate marketing on top of that, that is going to be a really profitable combination for you in the long run to make money online. Now, if promoting others' products and services isn't really your cup of tea, then you can actually sell your own products on your own website. If you already have a website and you're getting some sort of traffic, then you already have a potential audience of buyers and customers. All you need to do is to figure out what kind of product you could sell that would have high profit margins and that your audience would actually like to buy. Now, there are two types of products that you can actually sell on your own website. You can either sell physical products or you can sell digital products. When it comes to physical products, you do have additional expenses such as shipping costs. And in terms of inventory, you're somewhat limited, right? However, when it comes to digital products, you have unlimited inventory because you only create once and you can sell them over and over again, as well as the fact that there are no excess shipping costs. Besides the cost of hosting the product, which can be done on your website itself, you actually don't need to pay anything else when it comes to selling and promoting digital products. You can easily use tools such as Shopify, WooCommerce to create stores on your particular website. Or if you don't really have a website but are still interested in selling your products, you can use a tool such as Gumroad which only charges you a transactional fee each time someone actually buys a product. So you don't have to pay anything upfront to be using this tool. The best part about selling products on your own website is that you 100% control the profit margin, which means that you don't have to split the commission with anyone. That is the case, for example, in affiliate products, you get to keep 100% of the profit, as well as the fact that these are highly scalable. So if you, for example, create digital products, let's say you create an ebook and you sell that, you can actually continue to sell that over and over again without investing any additional money. Now, if you like writing and you want to make some money from it, but you don't really want the hassle of creating your own website and hosting your own website and doing all of the tech stuff that comes with it, then there's another method for you that you can actually use to make money online. And that is writing for other websites that will pay for your articles. A great place for you to start is by using the Medium Partner Program where you actually submit original or repurposed articles and you make money on the Medium Partner Program based on how many views and engagement your article gets. 
Now, the way this works is that Medium charges a small subscription fee to all of its premium readers. And essentially, when you submit your articles to be monetized with the Medium Partner Program, then your article gets paid via this program based on the number of views that your article gets. Now, the great thing about this method is that you leverage the existing audience base that Medium already has, and you don't need to spend time to actually create your own audience size on your particular website to be able to make money in the first place. You can also look at individual publishers that are looking for contract-based writers, which might pay you anywhere from $50 to $200 per article. But of course, this depends on the skill set that you have and the niche that you're looking to write in. And you can actually pitch yourself to individual websites to make a little extra money on the side. I've actually done this in the beginning with Matador Network when I was trying to build my travel writing portfolio. And that not only helped me get paid for what I submitted, but it also helped me get recognition and an audience on this particular website. Now, closely related to writing is the next way that you can make money online, which is by publishing an ebook. Now, this is a much more passive way of making money online because you do have to put in a lot of work upfront to create an ebook. However, once you've actually put it on publish and you are selling it actively, then you don't really need to do a lot of work and you get to cash in checks every month. The best way for you to get started as an absolute beginner is by checking out the Amazon KDP program, which is the Kindle Direct Publishing program. Now, Amazon does have a couple of eligibility criteria and rules that you need to follow. There is something known as KDP Select, which is basically when you give exclusive rights to Amazon to publish your ebook for the first few months. And what it does is that it gives you more opportunities to promote and have these special offers running on Amazon, which makes your book visible and can help you rank in the bestseller lists, which will then further enable you to make more money in the long run using Amazon. The alternate way to publishing an ebook is by doing it on your own website. However, the one thing that you do need to be able to do this and to actually make money is to have an audience of your own. So if you're just starting out or you just want to dip your feet into the whole ebook publishing space, then I would recommend starting out with Amazon Kindle and then taking it from there. Now, if you are someone who likes to teach and has an expertise in a particular topic or a particular skill that has a demand online, then you can think about teaching online. Now, one of the best places to get started is by going on Udemy, where anyone can become an instructor and Udemy essentially publishes and promotes your course in exchange for a small fee. Now, as far as I know, Udemy keeps about 50% of the revenue of your course and might discount your course from time to time, depending on whether or not you participate in their promotional program. Now, while this might sound like a bad deal where you give away 50%, you have to look at it in the way that you don't spend any money hosting or even launching or even advertising your course. Udemy does all of this for you. And when you're starting out and have no audience of your own, you can actually use this method to reach a wide audience and build your brand authority and recognition fairly quickly using sites like Udemy. The other advantage of teaching a course online through Udemy is that you only get to create your course once and then you can sell it over and over again to new customers each and every time. You don't need to put in a lot of additional effort besides just maybe maintaining and communicating with your students every now and then. So if you're someone who likes teaching and wants to build your authority in a particular field, then teaching online through third-party websites like Udemy can be a really good idea. Now, if you have any other skills besides teaching, such as design, coding, marketing, finance, etc., then you can look at becoming a freelancer. Becoming a freelancer is by far the fastest way to actually generate cash online because you don't need to do the upfront work that it requires to build a website or create an audience. You can just go promote your services and actually start making money right away. Sites like Fiverr and Upwork make it really, really easy to put yourself out there, create a portfolio and get started by connecting and matching with client projects. Now, if you're someone who is a bit more resourceful and hands-on, you can also even directly pitch to potential clients and small business owners by using websites like LinkedIn or even Facebook and Instagram, depending on where your audience is hanging out. Two freelancing roles that are really popular right now are one, a social media manager, which might require a little bit of experience upfront, and two, a virtual assistant, which you can actually get started with even as an absolute beginner. Now, there are tons of small business owners as well as entrepreneurs that are looking for things like admin help or help on designing graphics or help on managing their Facebook page or their Facebook groups, etc. This is where you can pitch in your services and actually start your freelancing career and start making money online. Now, the one tip that I have for you here is to start off by maybe promoting your services for free to two or three clients, building a portfolio, getting some testimonials in. And once you've built up some confidence, you can pitch to more clients directly and kickstart your freelancing career. 
The only downside to this method is that it is very time intensive in the sense that you only get paid for the time that you put in. So irrespective of what you're doing, you will only be able to handle a limited number of clients or a limited number of projects, especially if you have a job or are a full-time college student. This might not be the most lucrative method for you depending on how much time you have to actually involve yourself in freelancing projects. Now, if you are interested in becoming a content creator and do not mind being on video like this, you can actually start your own YouTube channel. There are tons of ways that you can monetize a YouTube channel. The most common method of monetizing a YouTube channel is via Google AdSense, which you can get started on once you have hit 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours and a few other criteria that YouTube wants you to meet. However, ads is only one of the ways in which you can monetize a YouTube channel. You can also get sponsorships or brand deals depending on the niche that you're in and you can use that to also generate some extra income online. Not only this, in the long run, you can also sell your own products and services directly through YouTube by leveraging the authority and the brand that you're building on YouTube. Now, along similar lines to becoming a YouTuber is the next idea, which is starting your own podcast. If you are someone who is not really comfortable on video, however, you do want to share your content and you do have a message that you want to share with your ideal audience, then starting a podcast may be the right thing for you. Now, while YouTube is more similar to being on TV, having a podcast is actually more similar to having your own radio show. Of course, depending on who your audience is and where they're located and how they're actually spending their time consuming content online, a podcast might be a better fit for you. The most common way of monetizing a podcast is by selling brand deals and promotions. Now, the same way that you hear advertisements on radio, similarly for podcasts, you can actually pitch to brands and companies that have related products and services and get them to sponsor your particular podcast show. The other way to make money through podcasts is by selling your own products and services because essentially what you're doing when you create a podcast is that you're creating and building your own authority online and you are creating and developing your personal brand, which in turn allows you to monetize your brand by selling products and services that are related to your brand. Now, if you're someone who wants to be a coach, a consultant, or some kind of expert, having a podcast can be a great way to get a kickstart in this particular field. You don't even need to create all of the shows by yourself. You can actually start connecting with your industry leaders and approaching them to be a guest on your podcast show. Not only will it help you get a lot of content out there really quickly, but it will also help you network and build on other people's audiences who have already been building their audience online for a long time. Moving on to the next method is to become a coach. Now, whether you are someone who has life skills, fitness skills, marketing skills, finance skills, or pretty much any kind of skills, as long as you are a couple of steps ahead of your ideal audience and you have a problem that you can solve in a constructive and productive manner, you can get paid to do it by being a coach. Now, being a coach is slightly different from freelancing because whereas in freelancing, you might have a lot of client projects ongoing at the same time. When it comes to being a coach, you might have a more hands-on approach and actually only have two to three clients at a time. One of the best ways to build authority as a coach and actually get prospective clients is by leveraging social media channels such as Instagram or Facebook. Instagram in particular is a hotbed for coaches and there are lots of people who are looking for advice and help in different areas of their life and business. So as long as you can fit a gap in the market and you can actually provide a solution for a problem that people are willing to pay you for, you can get paid as a coach online. Now, the downside to becoming a coach is again, the fact that it is a time intensive approach. Of course, you have limited time and this means that you can only have a limited amount of clients at one go. However, the upside of it is that you can have very few clients and charge premium prices and make a lot more money than you would be able to, especially at the beginning, using any of the other methods that I listed in this video. I find it incredibly amazing that we're living in an age where the internet has made it possible for us to monetize our passions and to really make money doing what we love from literally anywhere we want. You can literally monetize any passion or skill that you have as long as there's a demand for it. And not only this, you can teach yourself new skills along the way using the internet and keep getting better and better over time and make more and more money over time as well. I've actually tried out eight of the 10 methods that I've shared with you in this video, but I'm really curious to know if there are more methods that you are using to make money online. Do share with me your ideas in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a like, hit subscribe for more such videos and click the bell notification so you never miss a new video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.